Today in Talking Tech, we are surrounded by technology. Everything is accessible on a computer nowadays, and I mean everything. Bank information, personal records, photos, emails, and while you may see it as a convenience, you may actually be in danger. So we headed to New England Institute of Technology to get the scoop on cybersecurity. With so much personal information online, surfing the web and visiting social media sites can make you vulnerable of being hacked. So students at New England Institute of Technology are trying to help. What they're trying to do in the two courses is figure out whether or not a system is vulnerable to hacking, what we call that a penetration testing course. Cybersecurity and digital forensics courses can provide students with the skills to detect and retrieve vital information. They're going to take a machine that's been victimized in some way, shape, or form and create a forensic image that can be introduced into a court or some kind of other proceedings. Cybersecurity is taught to students looking to further their careers in the tech world. Hopefully I'd like to get into some sort of a university or other college and help out with their, you know, security systems. Anything from networking to their actual physical security would be kind of cool. These students have even applied what they've learned in their day-to-day -day computer use. I've uh, updated my virus software since then, um, made sure that I've had firewalls enabled, things of that nature. Um, for my computers at work, I've gone through and you know made sure that my security programs on there were function properly. They even learn that hackers are smartening up on the latest technology. They're constantly getting insight on what it is that hackers are doing in order to hack their machines, in order to hack um, servers at large. So they're learning how to protect themselves more than anything else by making sure that they stay on top of patches and updates. They don't download and install software where they're not really too sure where it's coming from. Professor Alexander even has a few tips for the everyday user. I would say make sure that you don't download anything that you don't know where it's coming from. I would say change your passwords regularly, use complex passwords, and make sure that you don't use the same password everywhere. In addition, stay away from certain viruses that seem too good to be true. There's a browser extension out there called CrossRider, and it is going to um, load a particular piece of malicious software known as LilyJade. And what LilyJade is uh, pretty significant in that it's not detectable to antivirus. The hacker who wrote it, he wants basically $1,000 per copy, and he claims it will run on any operating system. Students in cybersecurity courses are trained to search for information that a user thinks they deleted, but really still exists somewhere in the system. So a word of warning, if you don't want it seen, never put it online to begin with. For Professor Alexander's tips on cybersecurity as well as course information at New England Institute of Technology, head to WPRI.com.